This is how long it took me to get down to 15 bars to trigger the second phase of Thanos' fight at stage 30 with an optimal team and strikers. And this is how long it took me with teammates, with random teammates, to kill the first 40 bars of Master Mold in order to trigger his secondary phase. So that is the snapshot for a pre-CTP level 70 gear 25 pre-tier 3 Namor the Submariner. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And in my quest to bring you guys the freshest, best content, I am now throwing another sort of twist on a segment that I like to do. And this is essentially a pre-tier 3 Namor. I am going to tier 3 Namor. I will be making a video about it, so you can definitely look forward to that. And then you can get your um, opinions and you can get your ideas for whether or not you want to invest in the Submariner. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to see if this is a video that you guys would also like. So let me know down below in the comments if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this kind of video, give it a thumbs down. Uh, and if you want to elaborate in the comments, knock yourself out. Uh, and so basically running through the build really quickly, as you've already seen the clips there before we go with the CTP, we've got 26,000 uh, physical attack. This is with no leadership, no team up. He's not even on the list here with, uh, how did I do that? Oh, yes, Human Torch, Mr. Fantastic and Thing. Um, and then he's got his Urus, still gaps to fill, but that's okay. He's got his skills, mostly level six, some level three. He's got his stage nine Power of Angry Hulk, and he's got his crit damage, crit rate, 100 proc. So those numbers that you saw, which means he could probably clear a stage 25 Thanos, um, and he could definitely do Master Mold in probably about three to four minutes, were with a regular five-star Obelisk. Not even, you know, you can still get twice the damage proc capabilities, you can go all the way up to 200%, which is pretty exciting. But we're going to be saying goodbye and farewell, bon voyage to this uh, obelisk. We're going to be permanently deleting it. I know, super savage, free to plays everywhere will cry. And we're going to be slapping on this, uh, mm, I don't know which one. We're going to go with this 2927. No, we're going to go with the 2825. Uh, CTP of Rage. So here we go. We're going to delete this, plop on the CTP of Rage. I debated between Energy and uh, Rage because I've heard some people with really great things to say about a CTP of Rage on Namor. And I've also surprisingly heard people say a lot of good things about a CTP, CTP of Energy. So I think in a lot of ways he is like Captain America where he can still make it work with a CTP of Energy and he hits hard enough um, and he has enough hits, although he doesn't have as many hits as some other characters. He has enough hits to make a CTP of Energy work Possibly only at tier 3 because his tier 3 skill has a lot of hits, but possibly at tier 2 as well. But I'm quite excited now to see how he does. We're going to quick take a quick peek at his stats here. I'm a little over capped on crit uh, rate, but that's okay. We're about 4% over. So perhaps what we need to do is just re-roll this over to crit damage. There we go. First roll. Pretty awesome. Um, and now we're at 66%. So I think from here we would want to give him a little bit more crit rate um, on his Uru. But we're not going to finish out the build just just yet we're just going to go in and see because we want to make a comparison tier 2 with the obelisk versus with the ctp and of course we lost some stats we lost some crit damage on the obelisk because we, we replaced it so we need to get that back so let's go ahead and dive now back into the dive ha <laughs> dive now back into the same content to make a new comparison so we're looking at about a minute 40 um, to compare uh, for thanos this is now with a ctp of rage so you can see this is what a sort of maxed out Besides the Uru, this is what a maxed out uh, tier 2, gear 25, level 70 Namor is going to look like. And Namor might actually be a good choice for some of you out there uh, if you don't have any other uses for your feathers and Emkron crystals. You can spend them to slowly get him up to level 70. You can not gamble and always do 100% on the potential. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. You don't even necessarily have to tier 3 him. It is a lot of resources. I'm talking Essence of Dimension and Titan component packs to get him to level to gear 25, so I understand that that's not a possibility for some of you guys, because you're saving all of your tier 3 materials, not just CCF, in order to get another character to tier 3, but, you know, if you if you happen to be in a situation where you don't have enough CCF, but you have an overabundance of those other materials, maybe this tickles your fancy, um, and you like the uh, results, and you like what you see. Right off the bat, I do want to point out that I did make a mistake by opening with 5 cancel 4, I got frozen as well, which is not good, but the real mistake there was opening with 5 cancel four because you want to open with the non-damaging skills first with the ctp of rage i forgot about that uh just you know first time playing with him of course uh small mistake here is what we actually want to see we want to see the damage when we proc on the other skills and we let the um 
the CTP of Rage buff up his better skills rather than his worst skills. We're getting some nice uh, mind control there from the strikers, so that is good. And we're getting some iframe now from uh, Thanos, so we need to relocate him so we can continue the uh, you know visual, visual, visceral onslaught. We did get time frozen there, um, but this should be over relatively soon. Let that fifth skill ride out, and there we go. So just under a minute, or just just over a minute. So we saved about 35 to 40 seconds. Uh, getting Thanos down to 15 bars, which is a pretty decent uh, bump. It's still not an optimized build. I made some mistakes with the procs. I also did get debuffed at one point near the beginning of the, the fight where he threw one of those orbs at me. So I could potentially do this faster. I want to give it one more try with a uh, renewed uh, rotation. But it is definitely challenging for Neymar to avoid all of those orbs that Thanos throws. Um, because of the fact that he only has those two iframes. And I might not have to, or I might not be able to cancel his fifth skill. I actually might not want to cancel his fifth skill anymore now that I think about it if I'm not trying to nail it right on a proc. Um, but this is the sort of trial and error that you have to go through with a new character anyways, uh, regardless of your rotation and regardless of your setup. You do need to learn the optimal moves before you can uh, really take things to the next, le next level. So there we go, that was quite a bit better. We still got debuffed. I wasn't able to avoid that, and that's, you can tell I got debuffed because um, the tornado was up, and it was kind of, uh, it had, like, it, it made contact with something. It did an iframe. I didn't iframe to dodge it. Um, so the iframe is, is the only time where you'll actually be able to ignore uh, and remove the puddles or the, the sort of blue thing entirely if it hits you, even if you have an immunity skill up or invincibility or. Uh, well, if you have invincibility, you're going to get debuffed, but even if you uh, get hit by it but you don't take damage, it will still show up as either a tornado, a toxic pool, or a... Uh, that was faster, so there we go. That was a much better run. I think the other one's lava, or lightning as well. It's one of the four elements. Anyways, that was about... Um, now we're, we're approaching uh, a minute faster because that was about 43 or 53 seconds. So we're almost one minute faster. We're about 50 seconds faster, uh, which is basically half the time to get him from uh, 18 or 20 bars down to 15 bars. And we actually did a little bit more damage than last time. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's about double the damage, it seems. It's probably going to be even more than that uh, when we actually go ahead and slap on... Uh, his tier 3 and, and kind of level him up. For those of you curious about the tier 3 stat bonus, for, you know, because it's a question you might want to ask yourself, you can see there that he doesn't get a very high physical attack bump, which I'm a little bit disappointed in. He only gets uh, about, what is that, 7,500, which is good. It's better than some other characters, but it puts him around a Wolverine's level without a uniform. Um, but then his HP goes up by almost 20,000, uh, and then both of his defenses actually get a pretty large bump as well. You can see physical defense is going up by more than 5,000, and uh, energy defense is going up by about 5,000. So he could become a pretty tanky character. Keep in mind, he already has 25% uh, damage reduction, if he gets additional damage reduction, if he gets a heal, uh, there's a lot of things that could open up from his uniform if he ever gets one, um, but, you know, with that being said, it, it will be interesting to see, I actually want to really quickly compare Wolverine without a uniform, tier 3, 29,000 physical attack, so actually, he has more physical attack at tier 3, wow, I didn't know that, uh, than, than Wolverine, 13-2, and Wolverine would be 10-6, so wow, a lot more, wow. <sighs> Poor Wolverine. I, I probably shouldn't have looked at that. Last thing we want to double check here is the giant boss uh, master mold and see uh, the, other, the other reason why I'm compelled to uh, tier 3 Namor is because I've heard really good things uh, from quite a few different people about his capabilities for Galactus. Not only his individual potential to clear, to solo clear the stage, which would give me another, you know, kill per day or per, per week, I guess, um, but also uh, his team value. So his fifth skill has those buffs that you can lay down for the whole team, the all defense, the 70% all defense, the all attack. Uh, and then his tier 3 skill apparently does some pretty amazing damage as well. So we've got Maverick, Maverick 39 and Flawless Boss in here right now. Um, hopefully we don't get someone who's too overpowered to just blow through the stage and kind of skew the numbers. But if you recall from the uh, little clip that I showed you, and Maverick just decided to dip, uh, we were able to do about 20 million points of damage. 
in that uh, first minute and a half. So we're going to be comparing uh, not only how long it takes me, but how much damage I'm going to be able to input. Because if it takes me half the time, but I'm only putting in a million points of damage and everybody else is doing the work, that's obviously not a good sign. Uh, but then on the other hand, if it takes me less time and I'm doing as much or more damage, if I can ever find an actual fucking team, uh, then that will be really great for him. So just hold on and we'll fast forward to that actual fight. So here we go, Namor checking out his movement speed right off the bat. I'm actually uh, always paying attention to the movement speed of characters um, in Giant Boss Raid because I like to be, you know, one of the first people to get to the robots to actually start smashing them out. So it's interesting to see like certain characters like, uh, where did the hell do they go? Uh, why are you all the way over here, my dude? This is going to totally kill my time. But whatever. Um, it's interesting to see certain characters, they take a really long time to actually get into the fight. Uh, but someone like, for example, Jean Grey is actually quite fast. Uh, Sharon Rogers is actually quite slow. Those would probably be two examples that I have for you off the top of my head. You can definitely think of others if you've played Giant Boss Raid enough. And I know after Saturday, some of you might be sick of hearing the word Giant Boss Raid. But uh, yeah, it's something that I do think about from time to time. And so we're looking for a clear on the first... Uh, 10 bars, and we're also, or f first 40 bars, excuse me, and we're also looking for uh, about 20 million damage. We do have a tier 3 Jean Grey who's going to be doing a lot of damage there. So there I did less damage. I did about 15 million. I'm about 5 million short, but we did it uh, about 40 seconds faster. So you can attribute part of that to my CTP of Rage, and you can attribute part of that to my um, teammate Jean Grey, and also to a lesser extent the uh, Strife and the Cable, they're, they're, not, they're no slouches, they're, no, they're not bad characters by any means. We're going to finish out this fight, I was actually going to consider uh, just force closing, uh, and then just going back out and, and editing that, but I think, you know, why not, why not see if I can out DPS a tier 3 Jean Grey, we don't know their builds, but screw it, let's just assume that they're uh, built well, and see if the, the Submariner can hang with the big boys of the giant boss raid. Keep in mind that both Cable and uh, Jean Grey have a type advantage because this Master Mold is combat, but Namor does not because he is combat. He doesn't have a penalty, but he also doesn't have um, any bonuses. So we're going to pop this here, and we're actually just going to go for it. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. I was going to say, uh, I don't think I'm going to take a lot of damage because he's pretty tanky, but no, I took, a, I took a shitload of damage. I was just trying to get more damage in to try to get first place, but uh, that, was, that was pretty risky. Probably don't want to do that in the future. I'm not going to look. It's going to be a surprise. I was using Nick Fury. That's probably a bit of a cheating. Uh, that probably gives me a bit of an unfair advantage, but we got first place. Oh my god, we got a CTP. Look at my luck, guys. Absolutely amazing. What a lad. So there you go. There you have it. That is a comparison of a fully maxed out tier 2 level 70 Namor, in case you want to bump your feathers or dump your feathers onto him, etc. Uh, with uh, a regular 5-star obelisk that is completely and, you know, super free-to-play friendly. And then, of course, on the opposite end of the spectrum, what you can expect when you pull one of the, the, the greasy uh, money CTPs of Rage. Of course, you can get a couple of them from CTP selectors, but you know where I get the majority of mine from, the old Gamble Casino. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of Namor. Let me know what you think of the showing. Let me know if you're hyped for his Tier 3 video. And let me know, of course, what you think of this segment. Thank you so much for watching all the videos and all the support, uh, especially recently. Really, really means a lot to me. Subscribe if you enjoy the content, if you want to support me. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you later today. Take care.